Okay, let's go again. You ready? One, two, three, four. You ready? Hang on, we've got to start this video, Kendrick. You ready? One, one, two, three, four. Good. Come on. All right, we're just working on a little bit to do with subtlety at the moment. It came up in conversation the other day uh, on social media. And some girls in Europe saw me working with a horse on a video that will basically get sticky with its legs. If you asked it to do something, it would just stand there. And they thought I was a little aggressive with the flag and that, you know, I wasn't subtle. Uh, and they said, oh, you know, a good horseman would be a lot more subtle and read the horse better. Well, if a horse is sticky and it's standing there, you have to put as much pressure on as it takes to teach that horse to move so that you can be subtle. So I thought I'd get this fella out and just show you a little bit about subtle. Subtle is when I can look at his shoulders, when I can look at his hind end, when I can look at his shoulders, his hind end, his shoulders, his hind end, and I can pick him up and have him come through with his front end, you know, when I can pick that up and just have him yield his hind end out when he'll back off me. Now one of the other things that they said was if I did that with an alpha stallion I'd end up in an ambulance. This guy is an alpha stallion. You put this guy out and we did it the other day. Um, I really, really, really wanted him to be able to live with our geldings. Our geldings will tell you that he was a little too alpha for them and some of them are pretty tough. You know, they've come out of mobs of horses. Um, this guy was a little tough for him. Hey, buddy, keep your mind on the job. Ah, uh, so, you know, he's an alpha stallion. The reason he's good for me is because he doesn't know any different. He's conditioned. He learned from his very first handling, if I look at him and walk at him like that, he gets out of my way. He learned from his very first handling, if I reach out like that and I walk through here, you move your shoulder over. You get out of my way. I'm not getting out of your way. He learnt from a very early age that if I ask him to go, that he goes. If I ask him to slow, that he slows. He learnt from a very early age how to listen to me and not argue about things. You know, he's still Italian. He really is, and he still will reach out with his nose sometimes, have a bit of a look at me. I'm gonna let him mess up before I do anything about it. If I do have to do something about it, it's gonna happen fast and hard, and he won't know, you know? He won't, he won't know what he did. He'll say, right, I'm never doing that again. Because what I see with stallions is people say, oh, he's a stallion. He doesn't even know how to lead like that yet. He's a stallion. Come on. I gotta hold him like this really short so he can't get me. And I gotta keep my elbow out there so that he can't knock me over. And I gotta keep my stick ready in case he tries to bite me or something. And we'll waggle at him and he'll feel trapped the whole time. And they create those stallions that are, it's like a, a war going on every time he's handled. Um, for me, you know, that's a really nasty way to bring a horse up. Every time someone is with him, he's in conflict, you know? Um, those girls might think that I am tough. What I'm doing is I'm setting my horse up to have a nice life. I'm setting my horse up so he doesn't need any more pressure than that for him to walk with me. You know, and he'll walk as fast as I walk. If I'm not lazy, he won't be lazy. He'll slow when I slow. You know, he'll watch me. He'll back up when I back up. He'll stop when I stop. I trust him. I really, really trust this horse. You know, I know that he's a stallion and I'm not stupid. 
You know, I know that I am going to always have it in my mind there that he's a stallion and, you know, and how I'm not going to be stupid is I'm not going to let the arguments and the crap stuff rather than have to do something about it every five seconds. That's how a stallion should be handled. You know, I can take this guy near mares and still lead him. You know, he might get excited. He'll even get on his back legs. He's done it a couple of times, you know, near other horses. Um, but it's no biggie, you know. And I've only got to correct him once and it's all over and done with. You know, he doesn't get handled a whole lot. Uh, not as much. You know, he's about ready. I'm going to put some work into him. Uh, I'd like to teach him to be one of those garotcha horses. I think he'd be good at that. I'll just move him back a little for you and show you. A lot of people get the chase back bit good. They don't get the soft off the holder good, where it's just a soft feel, you know? It's not a horse avoiding anything. He's not avoiding me. I'm not avoiding him. It's a soft feel. There it is, you know, it's not running from me. The same sort of feel I want when I'm riding. So, you know. Two things there that people can work on. But the message in this video really is if you want to own a stallion, bring it up to be a stallion. Don't bring it up to be a pet and expect it to be a stallion later. Thank you.